Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is the second video I've done on some turquoise inlay work and uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit more detailed, maybe more informative, a little more creative. Um, I use a lot of marginal wood and so here we have a piece of maple that has a completely hollow back with a really clean um, knot on the front face of it. And what I needed to do was fill the back up a little bit. So you can see I used a piece of t-shirt here and some thick CA glue uh, from Starbond to glue the edges of the t-shirt down from the back side in this big void um, so I'm not wasting material. And you can see that uh, I got the edges pretty secure. Now we turn the piece over and the t-shirt material is suspended cleanly um, but it's still really soft um, and so we need to come up with a way to firm that up a little bit so again we're not wasting a lot of excess material and so here we use our cotton balls and some thin CA glue you just roll up little chunks of the cotton ball and tuck them in with a toothpick or popsicle stick or whatever you have around spend some time just getting it tucked in um, keep it low keep it underneath the surface of your wood your finished wood piece and um, just keep working in there as much as you can and you get your thin CA glue back out and put a couple beads in here get a little wet go ahead and soak it down now be aware that uh, this the CA glue will react to some of the latent moisture um, that, that is in that cotton ball and you can see a little smoke um, you don't want to breathe that stuff so make sure you're ventilated pretty well um, just get it finished filled in here and um, you can Put the activator on it that activator will set that ca glue uh, within 30 seconds and you're good to go get out your crush material whatever you're doing um, i use a, a man-made crushed turquoise a lot keep it low keep it underneath the surface of the wood and hose her down with some ca now in between these coats here uh, with some editing i i did spray the activator back on that if you would have gone back right away um matting that down with your finger you would have gotten sticky and had kind of a mess on your hands so put the activator on it every time just like that shot there you can see and go do some sanding once you're done sanding you can see where your high spots were and you want to keep working your fingers back and forth and try to work as much of that finer powder in to the the voids as you can and now we've got the smaller applicator that comes with your star bond glue um, there should be a link uh, in the description of this video below here um, and i cut the video off uh, <laughs> i didn't finish editing or i didn't finish filming the edits but you can see this is kind of the finished product um, i just went back and sanded one more time sometimes you have to go back two or three times to finish the sanding but um, that's pretty much it finished product um, you know like uh, comment you know let me know what you think and I'll try to make some more videos, maybe next time horizontal. So thanks, everybody. Have a great time.